All right, guys, uh, we got a good show for you today. We have uh, Landon Dietrich, a uh, you know, prospect for the Washington Nationals organization. Um, we're actually in West Palm Beach, Florida, right after his game. Uh, you know, thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. So, you know, coming out of high school, you know, people always have, like, you know, there's, you have the highly scouted players that sometimes, you know, go to MLB right out of it. You know, for you, you decided, you know, with the D3, you went know, to Marin Harden, Baylor. Uh, talk about, you know, your high school career a bit, and then why was that the school for you? Yeah, man. So, um, <clears throat> right out of high school, I only had one offer for baseball, actually. So, that's the reason I picked Mary Hart and Baylor, and I was actually a little bit more of a basketball player. But I've been in love with baseball since I was a kid. So, um, decided to go that route. Played uh, played it by ear a little bit. Took some visits to both. But then, Mary Hart and Baylor, when I visited there, it was just, it was just definitely the place for me. And there's nothing like it. So D3 route kind of chose me more than I chose it, but I mean, everybody develops at their own level. So yeah, that was me for sure. And it's uh, crazy because growing up with, you know, a baseball family, you know, you talk, you see it, you know, first round picks sometimes are D3 and I, it doesn't really matter as much for baseball. It's like, it's just as you, you know, go on, I guess. Right. Yeah. So it's all about just when you can uh, develop yourself. You know, I was definitely not the best high school player. I was the opposite of highly recruited. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you just keep grinding at it, and it keeps working out, and all of a sudden, you, something clicks like that, and you see it every every day, and then it's like, man, there you go. Yeah, um, I read something where it was like, you know, going, you know, at, you know, going into college, you were like 180, and then you finished like 215. You know, was that a lot in the weight room, or is that just you know filling out your body as the type of player? You know, you I were? think it's both, because um, you know, in high school, I was a, I was a three sport athlete, so I did that, and I was always just going, 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 going. And so it was a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the the eating and not playing every sport every day. Yeah. And it's a lot of weight room. Yeah. A lot of weight room. So, you know, over the course of the college career, when did you think, like, you know, possibly, you know, playing and then we'll be in, you know, going to minor leagues or was a possibility, you know, for you? Um, I think after my freshman year, going into my sophomore year of college, uh, my coach was named Nate Ship. He... He kind of told me, he's like, you know, I think you have a chance if you, if you really want it bad enough. And I was like, well, I do, so let's do it. Bought a couple of wood bats, started swinging with those, you know, trying to get uh, trying to get used to more velo, stuff like that. So, yeah, he was, the, you know, one of the first ones to believe in me. And so we did that. And, um, yeah, man, that's kind of when it started. The dream started, I guess. Yeah, um, it was unfortunate, you know, like a lot of us. I'm, you know, 21 class like myself. Uh, we kind of got, you know, screwed out of recruiting visits and different things. You know, for you with the draft, there was only, you know, five rounds and everything, and you didn't get to visit, you know, teams. Like, a lot of people I know right now, you know, they went to, you know, 20 teams. They got to work out for them. Um, how was it for you, you know, as a, you know, player trying to you know, navigate through that hard time? Yeah, man, after, um, after COVID hit, I thought I played my last game for sure, you know. I had gone to – one workout with the nationals obviously and uh that was a year ago and i wasn't really sure what was going to happen i was pretty for sure i played my last game and so um i had to wait those couple months and just kept lifting kept working out kept hitting and um you know it really worked out for me in the end i was taken to the free agent so it's the dream come true for sure but it was definitely different not having not having the draft and, yeah or having the draft or not having 10 rounds. Yeah, or rounds. like this year we had, they had 20, which is, you know, huge for, you know, a lot of players. Um, how does that go about, like, signing a contract and, you know, someone like Nationals pick, do they just call you randomly or they call your agent or how does it go for you? Yeah, so most guys have an agent they kind of keep in the loop, uh, mm -hmm. but I don't. So I got a call one day and it was just like, hey, I'm with the Nationals, I would love to sign you. And um, we're gonna take you as a free agent, yeah. and then from that point on, you're right done. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, for sure. Yes, sir. I'll be there. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's pure joy, you know. I got to tell my family about it and call them after, and then a couple of days later, I uh, scheduled a Zoom call, set it up, printed my printed my uh, contract out, and got a sign. So yeah. Awesome. No, you have to you have to see it. Um, you know, it's crazy because a lot of people, you know, undrafted or get drafted. You know, first thing they do is they, you know, get you know the GCL and they try to get you know single A as quick as they can. Last year the minor league system didn't run, so you you had to wait. You know, for people like you yourself, uh, what was it like? You know, taking that year off and then you know in May getting you know back to baseball with Fredericksburg. Well, I never really left. You know, I mean, I was always yeah. hitting. Uh, I never really took too much time off. Uh, it's just not that competitive. It's just not the same, yeah. yeah. And it's just not, you know, there's not live pitching. And, and 
for baseball and hitting especially, you have to face somebody, man. That's the only yeah. way to get better. Like you can hit the cage all day, yeah. but at this level, you got to see you got to yeah. see pitchers. So it was definitely um, kind of just a standstill for a while. You do what you can. I met a couple guys that were really awesome it, back in Waco, and um, you know I got to face them, some pitchers and some hitters that helped me out, and so that was that was huge. But the, just the year off was definitely definitely um, just just tough. Yeah, I've been uh, trying to you know play some smaller professional events, and it's just like not having so you can practice as much as you can, but it's nothing like in a live you know game it's like the nerves start to come back a little bit and it's just nothing nothing really like it um you know so you played in Fredericksburg like I was talking about you know what was your experience was experience like up there and you know some of the things you learned you know playing or anything like that yeah so I had a great time up there actually it's an awesome place awesome park I know you went and uh yeah. checked one of the games out but um you know, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I I can't wait to get back up there. Yeah. You know, we got some, I got some guys in front of me, some huge prospects and stuff like that yeah. that are back healthy again. And um, I wish them all the best, obviously. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, at the end of this year, starting next year, we'll be up there again and then just keep moving, man. It's uh, that's a really fun place to play. Yeah, get to travel. I've never been up to Virginia or anything like that before yeah. that. So beautiful country up there and. Uh, the stadium and the fans are awesome. No, yeah, it's it was a great time when I uh, went there. It was a, I think it was a sock of win. It's little things like that. That's what makes the minor league so great. Um, so you come back down to what's now the FCL. It's weird for me to say it's always in the the GCL. You know, a lot of players come down here. You know, and it's where you get a lot of coaching. It's a lot of if people tell me it was like the hardest work they've ever done. You know, yeah. getting down here because it's where you get there's a lot of attention because you're at the spring training sites and different things. You know. What's it like, you know, being down here and everything right now? Oh, it's a absolute grind. You know, there's, it's it's different than being an affiliate because you wake up early, you're out there in the heat of the day, yeah. and you're and you know it's just like more coaches than ever. So it's really time to put your work in. And yeah. I I really do believe this is where like the players really make their make their jump between college and pro baseball because yeah. like you can tell the difference, man. Um, so it's good to be here. And it, it literally is a spring training, yeah. except a lot hotter. Yeah. And so it's definitely it's definitely hot, and it's definitely uh, hard, and you get more work in than ever. But it's definitely worth it, dude. It's no, yeah. I, I've seen players like Francisco Lindor and you know all, all these guys you know play down here, different things, and it's or well, he was in Arizona, but same premise. It's um, you know all these guys. It's where the big work comes. Um, it's kind of funny because you know a lot of people have different stories. You know, with minor, going through minor leagues and stuff, you know, it's a lot of up and down, not really knowing where you're going to be. And, you know, you've experienced a little bit. You started out in Maryland, now you're in Florida right now. You know, how's it, how's life like this and adjusting to it? Man, it's it's kind of crazy. It's um, you know, I've been in and out of hotel rooms for months now, four months actually, and um, that's what's weird to me. I've never been really far away from home, you know, yeah. and so. Uh, Definitely miss that, but it's definitely good to be out on my own. Good to see new cities, new places. You know, can't stay in Texas forever, so. No. But, no, it's great. I can't wait to go back, but I got so much more I want to do here. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to keep hanging out. Hopefully, when I get to the affiliate, get a new place new place to stay for a little while. Yeah. It's not a hotel, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, funny because like in Columbus where we have this AAA team, a lot of players up there, they can't buy a place or get a little place because they know it's like I could be up, you know, Indians or I could be down or I go double A and it's just, it's really hard and this is why, you know, the webbing, you know, kind of starts. Um, for you, you know, how did you get into baseball yourself? You talked about, you know, playing basketball and all those sports. Um, you have a family member did it? Yeah, so, I mean, I have a dad who did it in high school nothing nothing too serious but um you know i played it when i was little because um i played every sport when i was mm -hmm. little you know and the best friends i ever had were all from baseball and yeah. um you know and i think that speaks about who you meet and like mm -hmm. the people you meet in it and um it keeps you around the same people so me and my couple of my best friends just started playing and um we really never looked back we we played and pushed each other just about every sport you can think of you know we're all super competitive but baseball was the one that stuck out to every single one of us yeah. and it was honestly the one we were all best at too. yeah so it was it was a good time and it just 
kept on going. Yeah, um, a lot of athletes, you know, come on the show, they always preach it, you know, playing a bunch of different sports because, you know, you get burned out or you get injuries a lot. You know, do you feel like, you know, playing multiple sports, you know, helped you overall through the course career? Oh, for sure. I think uh, more than anything, just being an athlete, you know, because baseball, you get so, uh, so routine sometimes that you can lose that edge, lose that edge that you got. So playing other sports definitely helps and obviously to be more competitive. Um, so yeah, and also it's just fun. You yeah. can't do it all the time. I mean, I'm I'm 23 years old. I've played yeah. baseball for like 20 if you include yeah. t-ball. You gotta have a break. You gotta have some kind of something else to do in there. So other sports are really good to just unwind and have a good time. Yeah, it's the same thing. I, it's like, you know, I'm just starting to get into it, but it's like college, like for the first time in my life, it's like, hey, you're gonna play one sport for four years. So I'm starting to get in club, I'm doing a club basketball, you know, club anything I really can do on the side so I can not get burned out with yeah. everything. Um, you know, final couple things. So you had your home run in Fredericks it was after one of your friends was, uh, you know, murdered. Was that, was he on your mind when you hit that or? Uh, yeah. And, and I had been, uh, I'd been thinking about that a lot because it was, I think it was two weeks before. Yeah. And so it was definitely on my mind, you know, and, um, it was tragic. It really yeah. was. And it hurt and, um, it was hard. Yeah. But, you know, I think um, just toughing that out and, you know, I got to talk talk to his family a little bit, talk to my family and my friends who are close yeah. with him. And um, definitely right after I hit it and I saw it go over the wall, yeah. it, it all, you know, flashed back. And, man, you know, it was, uh, I know he was there helping me out with yeah. it. And so that's the main thing. And, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, sorry, you know, to hear about that one, but, you know, it's something I wanted to, you know, talk about, you know, to give home to your friend and, you know, yeah you know, keep saying that. his name. Yeah, for sure. Um, this is the final question. You know, we always finish this, but when your baseball career is over down the line, how do you want people to remember yourself? Oh man, that's a good one. We do it every time with every athlete. It's always the always same one. Yeah, man. Ooh. You know, hopefully I play a hundred year or I <laughs> hopefully I play 20 years in the big leagues, you know, yeah. I would play till I was a hundred if I could. Yeah. But, um, you know, one day it's going to end, and as a baseball player, there's so much you can be. I would say, I would say this, that I played the game the right way. You know, there's always people who, um, who big time other people or don't yeah. sprint down the line. There's so many ins and outs and do's and don'ts. Yeah. And, and what's frowned upon and what's not. I definitely always want to play the game the right way. Yeah. And of course I want people to be like, wow, that guy was great. Hits, yeah. Hit bombs, dude. But yeah. more than that, just being a good guy, being a great teammate, man. Um, the stuff I can control because sometimes you know the pitcher's gonna be better and I'm not gonna hit it yeah. 100 feet. Sometimes I am. But what I can control is how I treat, treat everybody, you know, um, how I get down the line, how I hustle, because there's always somebody watching. And just like you got to see the game today, yeah. you might get to see me play a hundred more times, yeah. you might never get to see yeah. me play again. So if I pop it up 400 feet, yeah. or if I hit it 400 feet over the fence, yeah. if, I, if I'm giving the same effort, that should. No, yeah, it's crazy. I always, I was always reminded of it. It's like baseball is that one sport you can lose 70 games and still make the playoffs yeah. every year. It's one of the few sports where you can, you know, lose a lot more games, but, uh, you know, Landon, I appreciate you coming on, man. Thank you for having yeah, me and everything. Thank it means you, a lot. So, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, that was good, dude. Good job. Thank you. You got a knack for it, for sure. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I had, have you ever heard of Cape Cod League? You know about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So, I had some offers to, you know, go and call some games there. So, that's why I like, I like going around some smaller games. You know, like, GCL, like, today, it's like, I kind of started to, like, Work yeah. on trying to do that because I, I want to, you know, broadcast and oh, dude, well, you're do different things good like it. that. So I appreciate that. But uh, all right, let's see how I can airdrop this to you. So uh, oh, let's see how we can get to that. But yeah, dude, great job, man. I'm I'm happy to be here.